Ladies and gents, it is the mayhem wrap up, the bra wrap up, WWE Raw wrap up for this October 12th, 2015. Ready to roll with it. I'm the uh, host with the most here in Pittsburgh, PA, in the Mayhem Studios for WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Please check out our friends, SliceOnBroadway.com, IndieWrestling.us, and everybody else supporting the show with me from Johnstown, PA. He's Bobby F. J. Town. Hi, everybody. I'm awake this time. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Better than I was doing in the last hour of Raw, not because Raw sucked. I'm just that tired. Also uh, joining us from Poughkeepsie, New York, suffering and recovering from the con flu, uh, it is Mad Mike. Um, I did doze during the last hour of Raw, mostly because Raw sucked. Aww. Oh. And also with us from the outer reaches of Pittsburgh, PA, as well, is The Riz. I did not fall asleep, but it was very lackluster at, lo- at most. All right. Well, I tell you <clears> what, <throat> I enjoyed uh, the last part of Raw through my yeah. eyelids. So uh, I wanted to know what you, you thought about. Um, let's see. Matt, Matt Carlin says uh, Seth in the main event makes him makes him sleepy. No, well, I, don't know what you're I, wouldn't put on, I wouldn't put it on Seth. That was a fun main event. No, and that's what I, I was kind of going in today. There was an article about how uh, people were blaming Seth Rollins for the the raw ratings issues lately. I don't think that's fair at all. I mean, I think Seth has been doing a tremendous job, and I think that main event was a lot of again kind of attitude error booking. It's a lumberjack, guys. You know how this is going to go. And I thought they had a lot of fun stuff happen. Uh, they had the spot with him and, and Big Show out there. Uh, you know, it, it, they, they played it up throughout the night. I, I, I thought it was great. I, I thought it was a good end to Raw. I, I, thought, I thought it was fine. You know, as with everything, I kind of wish I had just two hours but uh, or two hours and 15 minutes. But, no, I thought they did a fantastic job with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fine. I mean, it was it was fine booking for for that match it yeah. was a weird way of having that match but it's also a way of doing it without seth coming out for 20 minutes at the top <clears throat> of the show yeah okay raw as a whole tonight mm-hmm. the first half hour was excellent with the new day and all that first stuff half hour was the new day the yeah. last yeah, half exactly. hour the last half hour was Good. Because of the New Day. Yeah, the entire middle section, what the hell was that? It didn't. It make needed some sense. work. It needed some like, New Day. Almost none you- of the angles made sense. Like, from Kevin Owens forward, it was fine. From Do you guys remember... Beginning to the first part. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry. Do, do, you, do you guys remember when Raw would come to Chicago... And then you'd see people tweet hijack raw, and then WWE would actually do a really, 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 really fun show mm-hmm. to try to counteract that. Um, they forgot how to do that because the raw crowd. I'm pretty sure at some point was chanting for Eddie Guerrero. Well, no, because well, it was his birthday. That was because Seth Rollins did the frog splash. Yeah, it was his birthday too the other day. Okay, but um, still, like, uh, it, they're. I understand we have a long time to kill before Hell in a Cell. There are better ways of doing this than having a bad cell phone call drive the narrative of the show. Mm. So they didn't have a lot of background uh, uh, noise for being on a plane, too. Yeah, and uh, like I, I forget who tweeted it, but someone said that the the feud between Stephanie and the flight attendant was the bo- was the best book feud on this on tonight's show. Mm-hmm. And, and not, they're not wrong. Out, yeah. lady's name is what again? Was it Brandon? Tess. 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 Not test. Not test. Because I thought I heard test, and I'm like, well, that's a really weird. You term. weren't alone. A lot. A lot Don't. of people heard te- heard test. Don't speak ill of the dead. <laughs> but also, you have to remember, they had a home playoff game to go go up against today. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Baseball. Um, okay, <laughs> but it's not like the arena was empty. No, oh, no, no, no. It was no. I I don't think that has anything to do with it at all. But the arena match. Yeah. No, because well, the, they're not playing for the people watching in Chicago. The nope. people who bought those tickets for Raw intended to go to Raw. There was even a sign that said, "I sold my Cubs ticket to go to Raw." Because let's face it, 
everyone knows Back to the Future is going to be wrong anyway. Why not have a good Raw show because of it? I don't know. Exactly. exactly. John I'm, Cena, I'm... like John Cena, makes Back to the Future references all the time. I don't and know. This is, this is the one time that it would have made sense and nothing. I mean, that Pepsi nothing. became a thing. That Pepsi Perfect became a thing. I know, Bobby. I was I at know. New York Comic Con. I saw bottles of it in even person. Though it's, even though it's just regular Pepsi in a shitty bottle. It's well, still... to be fair, that's what it was in the movie, too. So That's true. All right, all right. Can, can we get to, uh, yes. can we get to oh. the big part of the, uh, the... Oh, this isn't the Back to the Future blab? Yeah. I, I, I no. thought... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, can we, can okay. Can we get to the big part of how the crowd really... What are you talking about, Ron? Are you talking about, <laughs> I, are you talking about uh, uh, Operation Hijack, the Open Challenge uh, that happened tonight when uh, somebody no. got engaged during the yeah. Open Challenge? Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's well, that. that but, and it wasn't Nikki Bella, you guys. That part was but, No, the one I was talking about was that amazing promo job by Roman Reigns and how the oh. crap. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. Boy, Shamoy. Did he say? Did he say bleed at? I don't think he, he was able. He to. didn't say bleed at. He whispered. He didn't say it. the thing. He whispered it. He, he, okay. He told Braun Strowman to say it. Braun yeah. Strowman came out and then he interrupted him. Uh, but like we 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 diss on Ryback nonstop about how he's reading, how he he is probably reading promos from a cue card. Spoiler alert: He is all the time. But, he, Roman Reigns is doing this live. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it's not it's not good. We're we're he, right, but like he's better than Roman, he was months ago, though. <laughs> No, you no, 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 no. This was a total. Like... This was a total reversion to the the night he won the Royal Rumble promo. Like this is yeah. a total reversion to that. It, it was a, He was trying to be the Rock again, and he needs to stop trying to be the Rock. Well, he he may be. Stuff. He may be Samoan and chiseled. He is not the Rock. At least he didn't he say suffer and suck, Katesh, son, or son of a. What no, but but he tried to do baby. Baby, we're in Chicago, baby. baby. <laughs> Maybe he just was channeling Adam Cole. No. Oh God. <laughs> but, uh, there, there was so much. Like, what? Who is someone needs to beat John Cena? Like, legitimately, it's get it's getting old at this point. I think they're great. He lost but... the belt for like two months. What are you talking about? Yeah. Then he went up. back. He got back, sure, but you know yeah, it's but, not like he's been indestructible. But again, uh, he he kind of has been. If you're not the WWE champion, he's been indestructible. Mm. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's just, why not have him lose it on Raw? Why not have, do something to try and get ratings to try and energize a crowd that clearly you have lost, like. After the first New Day segment, mm. like pull an audible. If John Cena is going away anyway, you can have a rematch at the pay per view, and actually, I don't know, build a story. Because the the title, the open challenge, was great when he first did it. It was fantastic when he first did it because we got to see some new faces. But now we're just seeing all the old standbys again. All right, what have we seen? We've seen. New How about Day? John Cena versus Kalisto? Why not that? He's or John? C- He's doing too busy jobbing to uh, Kevin Owens. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, there, and where is Heath Slater? I know we say it jokingly, but there there was a legitimate movement last week to get Heath Slater on there, or even Tyler Breeze tweeted John Cena open challenge. Why not Tyler Breeze? He doesn't have to win, but <clears throat> something different. All How right, many times right, have we right. seen John Cena versus right, Dolphin? I got, I got, I got a, a legit suggestion. Sasha Banks? Mm, no, that's TNA's. Um, that's TNA's view. Um, how about... Because this whole thing is for respect and all this. Blah, 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 blah. How about Rusev? Oh, God, no. Like, no, we don't need to go through that again. Why not? Why, Why not? not? 
especially with what they're doing about him uh, needing to get gold and lawn. Yeah, or, why not? Out of the summer and everything. I think it, that's the logical. Well, I'm pretty sure that's done. Because, because, you know, TMZ just said that Rusev and Lana were engaged and, and Summer just beat the shit out of them. Yeah, mm. but he needs gold, so he brings Lana back. And that's how he wins gold, with the help yeah. of Lana. He just becomes invincible now. Like, Lana yeah. is his Lana, star. Yeah, Lana is his star in yeah. Super Mario Brothers, and Rusev is Mario. <laughs> okay. I love that you well, guys. Only, hey, only which, more two the, which two of these guys do a, a video game podcast here? We I should. Both of us. <laughs> we, we should do a podcast like that someday. Maybe Tuesdays at eight o'clock on live.turkchonmedia.com. Yep. <clears throat> That's how you do it, Sorg. Plug, plug, plug. It was very impressive. But also, I mean, as you usual, you know, the in ring isn't uh, where we're kind of concerned. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought there was even, you know, Ziggler and uh, Cena, our, our, our tag match and everything. I thought we had a lot of really good stuff. Um, I kind of wish we had Sasha in another match instead of saying, yeah, hey, well, look, no, no, hey, no, no, Sasha, no. Sasha, you did real good. I'm out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the girl just <laughs> wrestled just a 30 a minute match. <laughs> a very emotional 30 minute yeah, match. Last forward. Wednesday, so you give him Monday off? I don't know. Yeah. So it, is, it is Columbus Day. Could I just mention that Riz is a magician because they just took a timeout during the football game when he went timeout. Yep. <laughs> in real life. <laughs> uh, but Sasha deserves a time, uh, like like a like a little break. Like don't mm, over okay. Sasha Banks right now. Well, yeah, but she hasn't been getting any matches on Raw though mm. and stuff. They're building. They're building to something. You, you, you know how we were saying in the hangout how how during the match. After they showed the video package of that match, they were chanting that they want Sasha. Mm -hmm. What does Brie Bella do in that match? She gets up on the table and starts chanting, we want Sasha. Yeah, but that's that's Brie Bella's gimmick. She tries to take the most popular chants and then tries to make them her own. Yeah. But it's also building a little storyline going along with it. Uh, Another jealousy storyline? Because we need more of those, you guys. Especially in the Divas division, there's not enough jealousy. Why Why can't we just have a story built around, oh, I don't know, respect? Like the takeover thing. Like, it's they're trying to build another jealousy angle. It's the same thing over and over again. It's the same, like, they literally ran the same angle with Paige and with Sasha the whole both uh during both matches right right eh, i don't know uh it's, it's fine. It, it was it's just fine no i mean the no, matches thought... will be fine but you know they could they could have used tonight to be a little bit more creative and they just didn't it was very interesting raw tonight i think uh you know again for being a chicago raw maybe not the craziest i think we did our get, get our moment with the uh the uh, uh engagement out there and and cena Kind of interrupting uh, in the oh, middle of the match no. on the mic. I thought that was okay. Uh, we're apparently distracted by our Steelers fans here in yeah, the blab Sorry. right now. So we'll go ahead <laughs> yeah. and wrap this up so you guys can get back to it. Uh, so, uh, you know what? Just just kind of just to gauge things here. Um, um, out of 10, what would you give tonight's Raw? Mm. Bobby? I'd give it a 6. Mm, right? Being generous. Being generous. Mm. Maybe a 5. Five and a half. Mm. Five point five. Yeah. Four from mainstream Matt out in the uh, chat room. Uh, all, right. all right, Bret Hart. I'll stick with my six. Yeah, I'll I'll go I'll go five and a half too. Mm, I'm going seven. Seven. One seven. What what did you like from it, Sork? Um, wrestling man. <laughs> that was really. Nice. <laughs> that hey, Bret White. That's not, wrestling man. <laughs> Okay, no. it, was really, it was a nice Wrestling. beat for me to nap to. I mean, thank you for the props for that. Uh, <laughs> let us know your thoughts from it. Uh, everything else, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We have a more less sleepy edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show on Tuesday <laughs> no, night. It's going to be more sleepy now. You say I'm live. Yeah. WrestlingMayhemShow.com. <laughs> and we have oh, oh, there oh. Is, schedule that for Romy LaVey in studio for the International Wrestling Cartel oh. for Indie Mayhem Show. Stay tuned for that at 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Me. At live.wrestlingmamshow.com and check out everything else, sorgatronmedia.com. 
for all our tech video game etc all kinds of content going on wrestling tv boss for indie wrestling.us boss battle at insertcoin to begin.com slice on broadway.com's our friends and of course uh bobby fj town is at bobby fj town he is the uh one of the writers and podcast producers for uh insert coin to begin.com i just wrote an article yes, he did. and riz he's uh the e riz and riz plays games on the twitters also from insert coin to begin.com check yeah. out his let's play series at riz plays games on the youtube and the only guy on the show that's actually been, has a future endeavor letter from the wwe corporate office is mad mike in poughkeepsie new york mad mike 4883 yes indeed did you just do the larry zabisco wave yes i did you're welcome, America. I'm, like, I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters. We'll see you guys next time.